How to create a website and blog using Bluehost Website Builder. Let's get to it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So yeah, Bluehost has a website builder and yeah, it's actually a pretty good website builder. So unlike Google Sites, which I would describe as more of like an unstructured website builder in the sense that you can like drag and drop page elements with ease, Bluehost is definitely a structured website builder in the sense that you have different options for different elements of the web page you're editing, like the header, the footer, as well as the body where the content goes. And I think it's a very creative and intuitive way to build a website. And on top of that, you can launch a blog with their website builder, which I think is very interesting. So in this tutorial video, I'm gonna walk you through step one to step done on how to create a website and blog using their website builder. Like always, make sure to check the links in the description for any resources mentioned in this video. So let's begin. All right, so let's get a domain name. So with Bluehost, you can get a free domain name for the first year. After the first year, you're going to have to pay a renewal rate. And so Bluehost is a little bit expensive. And this is why in all my tutorial videos, I tell people to go to Namecheap because it's $8.80 a year and it's way more expensive, probably about double that price at Bluehost. And so it's free for the first year, but then the, the second, third, fourth year, you're going to be paying a much more expensive rate than you would be paying if you just got a domain name at a domain name register like Namecheap. So to get started with Namecheap is simple. Just type in the, the domain name that you want to get. So let's do it super amazing blog.com and we'll hit the search bar now namecheap will come back to you and tell you if the uh, domain name is available or not if it is then you're good to go you just add it to your cart and and then just go to the checkout process if it's not then you're gonna have to come up with something else not a big deal just keep trying different combinations of words until you find something but anyways let's go ahead and add this to our cart view item and checkout now on this page, you can uh, choose how long you want to register this domain name for. You can have one year up to 10 years in advance at the low rate of 880 a year. And you also get who is guard for free. So I can regulations require you to submit contact information. And so who is guard keeps that contact information private. So solicitors can't easily uh, get your contact details. But anyways, that's how you get a domain name at Namecheap. Now let's get a shared hosting account. So in order to get access to the Bluehost website builder, you're going to just need a shared hosting account. So to get started is easy. Click the green button that says get started. Okay, so these are different hosting packages. I recommend the Plus and the Choice Plus uh, because the, these two provide enough resources to grow a website to 1,000 or more visitors a day. I prefer the Choice Plus, but it's totally up to you. I definitely would stay away from Basic as it only allows one website. So anyways, whichever package you decide to go with, just click the green select button. Now on this page, you can either choose a new domain name, which will register a domain name through Bluehost. Again, you get a free domain name for the first year. Then you're going to be paying a little bit of an expensive renewal rate, or you can use a domain name that you own. Uh, so if you registered your domain name at Namecheap, you wanna use this option right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's click on next. And then this is the checkout page. So checkout pages are pretty self-explanatory. Just fill out your account information. Uh, the domain name that you choose is going to be the primary domain name on your account. Right down here is the package information. So here you can choose 12, 24, or 36. Totally up to you. I personally would pick the 24 month price point, but again, it's up to you. Then make sure to come down here uncheck site lock and then submit your payment information click that you agree to bluehost terms of service and then click the big green submit button all right so once you submit payment bluehost will have an onboarding process that you can go through i definitely would just click on skip this step and you're also going to receive a welcome email so it should say like welcome to bluehost and then have your domain name now you're going to be looking at something if you chose the option where you choose a domain name that you own it's going to say like temporary box one two three something like that totally normal what you have to do is you have to set up name servers and that's very very easy and so to set up name servers is first we have to go to our welcome email now you want to come to the bottom of the welcome email from bluehost and right down here it says your name servers so you have ns1 bluehost and ns2 bluehost okay next you want to log in to namecheap go into your accounts and then go to the domain name that you registered and you want to go to manage and then on this page all you have to do is come right down here where it says name servers then drop down click on custom dns okay and so let me just do this so once you put in your custom dns which is ns1 bluehost and ns2 bluehost which are your name servers then just go ahead and click this tiny little green check mark 
and that's it. So you just set name servers. Now it will say, oh, it'll take up to 48 hours to take effect. I have never seen it take that long. It's usually like five minutes, five to 10 minutes. I would just maybe get a cup of coffee, take a quick little break and then come back and then this should uh, propagate and change to the domain name that you registered. All right, so let's get started with the website builder. So once you have set up name servers and everything propagates, now you're ready to basically launch WordPress to be honest with you because that's what Bluehost bread and butter is I would say like so you can click here like launch my site or WordPress and this will just automatically take care of everything and launch WordPress which we don't want to use we want to use their website builder in this tutorial video so just navigate over to my sites now your site should actually already exist right here so you want to go ahead and click on delete site and like yep you really want to <laughs> go delete site and next once the site's deleted then you want to click on this add site button okay and so when you click on an add site button you have wordpress or you have the bluehost builder and so we want to use the bluehost builder so i'll click on this use bluehost site builder okay so now the website builder will just take a few minutes maybe a minute or two to load Now, once the website builder loads, the first thing that you can do is to choose the category that your website is going to be about. If you don't know what it's about, that's okay, but I definitely recommend putting in something so you should have some idea what your website's about. So I'm gonna put in just travel, okay? And so as you type in things, different categories will pop up. So like tacos, tires, tours. I'm gonna to put in travel because that's what I'm going to be creating and we'll click on continue. Okay, so now the category is travel and now we can give our site name. So obviously, whatever your domain name is, your website title should kind of match that. So I'm using the domain name of my name. So I'm just gonna put in the name of the site as so it's the same as the domain name, if that makes sense. And now click continue. Okay, so now up top here, you have your different types of hero images that you can quickly and easily select. You can upload your own image or you can just select any image you want. You can always edit this later, so don't get too stuck on this. So I'll just click on this image right here. So as you notice, I clicked on travel. So that's why the category is important because it's just showing like relevant images related to travel. Uh, so anyways, let's click on continue. Click on continue again. Okay, so now we can have a font pair. And so what a font pair means, like different fonts go together. And so like when you design a website, you wanna have uh, one font to be like your header tags, like your, your title tags, and then you want a body font to be different. And so you want a font pair, so like two fonts that go well together, if that makes any sense. And so let me just come down here. And I don't like that one. Maybe this one, railway, eh. I'll just stick with this one, Lato. Okay, let's click on continue. Okay, now we can choose our site colors just to get started with. Again, like always, you can always edit this stuff later. All right, I really like that. Okay, now we can choose from top to left-hand navigation style. So here we can just choose how the top section of our website looks and operates. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, I'll keep it like that. Okay, now down here, you can have contact details. Again, you can remove this later. You don't have to fill this out. If you don't wanna put anything in, just click on finish, and then the Bluehost editor will begin loading your website. Welcome to Bluehost Website Builder. So you have your option to take a quick tour if you want, so totally up to you, or you can just follow along with this video. I'm just gonna click X. Okay, so this is the website builder. So over here, you have different elements about what you can turn on and off with the specific element that you're editing. So for example, we're on the header section right now, and this is the layout, we're on layout number five of six. So I can scroll through different layouts here. So we have this layout, and I can go here. So that's what I was saying before, like don't get too stuck up, or <clears throat> don't get, sorry, stuck up, don't get too hung up. <laughs> on like what header, whatever, you because you can always just jump in and change these elements later. Uh, it's not a big deal. So I like this one, I'll keep it there. So here we can turn things on and off. So for example, an arrow, remove it, have it on, buttons, description, call to action, title, subtitle, etc. And then over here, we have different sections that we can jump in. And so right here, these are our different sections where uh, we have like set up for the site. So we have all categories. Now what I'm editing now is, for example, back out of this. So if I click on this little plus sign right there, that adds a section. So each of these little block areas, uh, you know, sometimes they're called blocks uh, with Bluehost, they're called sections. So I can just click on this and add a section. 
And then here I have a recommended blog store and then I have all of these different categories that I can just jump in and add as I want. All right, so let's go ahead and click on pages. And so this, the, these are the pages that we currently have so far. We have home, destination, get in touch. Uh, and so to add a new page, you just click on add a new page. It's that simple. Then themes right here. So themes allow us to change uh, our colors that we want. So we can also click on fonts. And so we can change the font size, uh, style, etc. Go over here to effects, enable effects, for example. We can have enable and then we can click on this different types of effects that we want to add in and then we go over to settings and then settings allow us to uh, different change different things like the site name and domain name right here logo we can upload a custom logo there the fav icon for the website is this little icon up top there seo so this allows us to fill out like our on-page SEO, title tags, meta description, all of that good stuff. And then accessibility. So select the language to help your site readability for visually impaired visitors. So you have that option as well. And then we come down to store. Okay, so add a store now. So we wanna add a store to our website. We can do that right there. And then a blog, again, if we wanna add a blog in, which we are going to do, we can do it right there. Then stats obviously uh, tell us how many visitors have been to our website. Okay, so let's begin editing different sections of our website. So right now I'm on the header, okay? And so the header is this option right here. So we click on this, we have options to choose uh, different header layouts. Now if we scroll down here, again, now we're on the media and text. And so as you scroll down, each of these element blocks will just change as what you're specifically looking at. And so it's very simple. So for example, if I wanna move this up or down, I can just click that arrow and it just switches the spot of where the block is. If I wanna change this to something else for different type of statistics, I can just scroll through this. I have like uh, one through three different options. Uh, if I don't like it, which I don't really like, I can just click at the trash can and delete it. And so here I can welcome people to the site over here. So let's like click on this element right here. And so when you click on this element here, you can just jump in edit text with ease and so we click on the read more text right there and so here is where you can add in the specific link that you want people to uh be navigated to so if you want to have it like be no link or you want to have it be a web page then you can select different pages right there if you want pages to open up in a new tab you can do that there now generally speaking you should have things open up in a new tab if you're linking to something off your website so if you were to click in like web address and then like put in a different address there that's where you'd want to have it like be open in a new tab but if it's going to be on your website just have it open in the same tab and then gallery right down there so very self-explanatory so again you want to edit this section go there you have different layout options here that you can just jump through so for example uh okay i like the way that this one looks so how do we edit these elements so right here we have different titles we have different text and so if i just click on the image itself we can just click on this ah there we go sorry now here we can change the picture. So for example, if I click on this, that uh, changes the how zoomed in the picture is. All right, let me click on that. And then this one just changes the picture completely. And so what Bluehost does is like it sources images from places like Unsplash, for example. So for example, if I just want to click on that and say, okay, I'll use this image instead, then boom, there you go. So quickly and easily to change images. And so let's just go here again. All right, so my images, so you can upload your own images right here. So just click on add images, then browse files, just drag and drop, just like WordPress, very intuitive. And that's it. And so you can create a very, very attractive looking gallery of pictures uh, with ease. And so now we come down here to the footer and we have like different options right here. So let me come down here and click on the uh, address. Now the reason I clicked on the address is so now it changes it to footer, okay? And so the, the footer has like, we have address and pages. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, I don't want like, I don't want an address. I don't wanna put like my address in. How do I get rid of this? I don't get it. Like you have to just select a different layout. <laughs> okay. So just go through a different layout and then you can just uncheck address. <laughs> okay, it's that simple. So don't get frustrated. It's not like other page builders where it's like, oh, I wanna delete address or whatever. So let me just uh, like highlight everything and delete it. No, no, no. You just come over here to where it says elements then you can turn address off. And so, you know, just play around with the way things look. So if like, I don't want email, I don't want phone number, I don't want site title, I don't want page menu, I don't want site map. 
I just want to have like maybe the copyright and social media links add a description of the site. Uh, you know, maybe the site title add in back in, you know, whatever. Okay. And so that's kind of like how you edit each element. So as you're off into the, like in, within the specific section, so you just, I would like click on it. Okay. So now we have different layouts and different elements and that's it. Okay. So now you can change the layout settings there, the list elements and if the specific layout for the element. And then again, this is why blew, I'm very impressed by this website builder because like, look, you just want to move things around so easy. If you want to add in something, so for example, like if I want to add in a picture of myself here, I can just do this. Okay. And then I can click on add images. Okay. Then I'll just go ahead and open up my pictures. All right. And so we'll go to, oop, there we go. We'll go to pictures. All right. So let me just take one of these images of myself. All right. Let me just drag and drop that into place. Boom. Okay, so now our image has successfully been uploaded. And so, yep, there you go. And so now you can come in over here and change different elements like the, I don't want an image, I want the image. I want the alignment left, no, I want the alignment right, okay? Uh, so I want the text centered, text left, whatever. Okay, so the alignment of the image is up top there. Okay, so really, kind of, really intuitive. And so we can just cycle through different layouts that we think would look best. And so for example, maybe that looks better or this yeah i think yeah that looks great so i'll leave it like that and so that's it for the bluehost website builder like you just gotta play around with different elements okay now let me click on the plus sign add a section in and so what i want to go ahead and do is i want to add in a blog okay so now we have different blog posts and so i think i like personally like having a grid layout and so just click on whatever layout you want and there we go so let me now we have a blog has been added we have demo posts over there and that'll appear until you actually publish your own blog post like once you publish at least one blog post then it'll then the demo content will just automatically disappear so don't worry about oh no i have to go in and delete and no you don't it's fine so let's go ahead and click on create post All right, so welcome to blogging with Bluehost Website Builder. Okay, so now we have right, so we can have the title of the story there. Okay, so title of the story, I, that's a funny way to phrase it. Like this is the title of the blog post. So it's like, okay, how to travel to Thailand. <laughs> okay, so introduction. This is a short, catchy introduction section. So short, short, whoop, short, catchy intro okay and then the blog post goes here okay and then that's it and then we can select a cover image right there or feature image as it's called in wordpress so just select a cover image and then we have a bunch of different options that automatically propagate that we can use so we can just choose from just whatever element that you want and so i'm just gonna go ahead and select this one i'll click on use image and there we go and so uh, the issue, my only issue with this specific piece of content, uh, let me go ahead and actually uh, go to my personal blogger blog. Okay, so let me just take a, uh, let me just go into here and I'll just take something like this. Let me highlight this, copy. Uh, there we go. Back this up. All right, so let's go ahead and paste that in. All right, so for example, like within like WordPress, what I'm used to is like, I'm able to like highlight this and then I can make it like an H2 tag to break up the sections to make it a little bit more readable. So for example, like what I'm talking about, let me go to websitecreatepro.com uh, just to show you what, I'm what I mean. So we come here, okay? And then we come down to any like piece of content. So if I come over here to like the top 10 domain name registrars, it's like, this is the title tag, like the title tag. This is the title of the blog post. This is actually an H2 tag, okay? And so like this is like a subheading of this, if that makes sense. And so if we come down here, okay? So this is H2, then come down here. This is our H3, because this is a subheading of this. And with Bluehost, you can't do that. Like really, like I don't know, get it why they don't do that, why they didn't add this functionality. That is literally the only thing that's missing. Otherwise, this is fantastic. Anyways, we click on SEO settings, then the SEO title is right there. So what do you mean by SEO title? 
for example, the blog post here is called 10 best domain name registers. And then up top there, that's the SEO title, if that makes any sense. And so sometimes you want like a slightly different title for search engines than it, than it appears on the actual page itself. And then the SEO description is obviously the meta description. So if we type in website creative pro, uh, like right here, this is the meta description of the website. And so that's what you can adjust right there. And then the slug is like the URL structure. So, you know, always try and keep your URL structure short and sweet as possible. You don't want anything that's like overly long. So for example, like the URL structure here is like best domain registers, not the 10 best domain registers. You know, so that's why you want to keep it short. So maybe I'll just delete that and keep it to travel to Thailand, for example, whatever, and then add category. And so you can structure all your blog posts by specific categories with Bluehost website builder, which is fantastic. You know, so it's like, yeah, okay. It's like, if you're going to be blogging with Bluehost, you want to organize things under specific categories. Click on publish post now, publish now. Okay, so now we have one blog post successfully published. So let's go back. And there we go. So now we have our blog post right here that is uh, published. And so how do we navigate back to the blog? Well, you got a couple different options. So you can log into your Bluehost account and log into your uh, website builder and then just come down here and click on add post. Or you can also navigate over here by clicking the blog icon. Then this will take you to the content area where you can just quickly add new posts up top there. You can schedule blog posts. You can view your drafts, etc. And so the blogging on this is very intuitive. I just think the only issue is a lack of like H2, H3 tags. Personally, not sure. Like <laughs> I'm not sure. Like why? Why was that overlooked? Bluehost, you guys got to add that in if anyone from Bluehost watches this video. But otherwise, that is it. And so I think that looks fantastic. All right, so that's how you add a blog within Bluehost Website Builder. So let's just quickly and briefly go through, again, more just details on how to edit different sections. And so, for example, like this header right here, uh, you know, if I want it to change the layout again, you have to go back into the layout where it demonstrates a different menu bar, et cetera. And so just pick one that you really like, the, the layout overall. And so, uh, you know, for example, I, I think I like this one. I'll keep it this. now. How do you change things? How you change images? Very easy. All you have to do is like say, click on the image right there. So ah, right there. All right. So now let's go to background. Okay. And now here is where I can change the background image. And so we can add a video if we want. So I can change it like this. And I think that looks really nice. So we'll have that play overlay strength. Maybe I want to like darken it or lighten it. So maybe I'll lighten it like that. Maybe I'll have it white. And then turn this down. Maybe you just have it like 17%. Okay, whatever. So now how do you navigate to a different page again? So right now I'm on the home page. Here are all the different product pages. Here are all the different pages that I have on the site right now. So I have our destinations, get in touch, blog posts, etc. So if I can click on manage pages here. And so I can come in here and delete things. So for example, like I have a store that I went ahead and added. So maybe we'll delete that. I don't really need that in the menu. And then we have get in touch, our destinations. Eh, I really don't need that. How about maybe a standard old boring about page? So we'll click on new page. We'll say internal page or external link. I'm going to make it into an internal page. All right, so let's add in a new page. So I'm going to call this about, okay? And then the page URL is going to be about. So the SEO you have on the site is great because here you can change specific things that you want. So like if you want the page title to be different, here you can have a meta description of like what the about page is going to be like, and it shows you a preview of the page in Google, uh, what the it would look like in the SERPs, etc. So we come back here to settings. All right, we can set this page as a home page, which I don't want to do. And so anything looks like it's good to go. So we'll click on apply. Okay, and so this is the about page. <laughs> so it's like, whoa, doesn't have any content. Yeah, it doesn't have any content. So you gotta come here. Okay, we gotta add in a different section. Okay, so now I can play around with this. Like, what do I want for my about page? So it's like, I can come in here and add in different types of text, timeline, U USP, team. You know, if I have a team of people, so it's like introduce the team. I don't know, add in that section right there. Let me come over here, add a different section. Let me come in and add maybe an FAQ. I'll do that right there. Okay, I can keep going with this. <laughs> I'll add in a different section. 
uh, you know, maybe I want to have a cover image now. And I'll pick this one, okay? And it's like, well, maybe I want this to like, I want to lead off with this. So I'll click up like that. And then I want this to go up again. Okay, so, you know, here we go. So it's like, hey, welcome to, like, if you have a travel agency or a business or, your, or a blogger, you could just have like a nice about page, come here add in an image of yourself, et cetera. You can have like introduce the team that you work with. You can have frequently asked questions. Then we can add in a different section. We can just come down here and add in boring old text. And so here you just like write in a, a standard old text box. I also wanna quickly show you how to add in videos to any of your pages that you uh, want to add a video to with ease. So let's just go ahead and click on add section. So again, I definitely, I don't wanna go through all these categories because it's just too much. Again, you can play with this on your own, but again, video is right underneath here. And so it's all intuitive. So look at this, we can just pick on this one right here. And I think that looks really nice. Okay, so I wanna change this. I don't wanna have it to be Costa Rica. So we can just jump in there and you just pick your own URL. So for example, I can just come in here, we'll copy link address, come in here, and then we can just delete this. And we paste this in and click on save. And then it should, uh, the video should update as appropriate. And the contact page. Let me just touch on this briefly. So uh, the contact page is quite important. Most of these templates, they come with their own built-in contact page. Uh, the layouts look fantastic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me click on, there we go, the contact form. All right, so you can choose different contact forms that you want to add in. Okay, so I'll add this so you could have like a nice image of yourself there. And so let's just click on the form itself. Now, once we click on the form itself here, you can turn on and off specific fields that you want. And then you're going to be asking, hey, well, where the emails go? So form address right here. And so whatever you put in right here, this is where your email, whoever uses the form when they, to send you an email, this is where it's going to end up. You can also set up as a success message right there. And so you could like, uh, whatever you could say, Hey, message me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram or Facebook, whatever you want to do or nothing, uh, et cetera. And that is it for how to edit the contact page. All right. So now it's time to publish your website. So what you all you have to do is click the big blue publish button. And now it should say like, Oh, minute or two to load. And then it's going to be presenting you with this uh, page right here or not page, but this light box that says like, Hey, your site is here at this DDD ddi blah 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 whatever so so we want to use our own domain name so let's go ahead and choose a domain name okay so select the domain name that i own so we should have our site uh, our domain name already set up and then just have to click on connect this domain and that's it and so we're connecting your domain name to bluehost builder so just wait a minute or two to let it load Okay, so now I just have to click on complete setup because uh, I have a store. So let me just go ahead and say publish without store. Okay, now I'm just waiting for this uh, site to be published. And that's it. And so now the website is live. So you've just set up your Bluehost website builder website to your own custom domain name and you are good to go. All right, so some final words on the Bluehost website builder. I know people are gonna have some basic questions. So again, I just wanna reiterate, uh, you navigate the general aspects of your site over on the left-hand sidebar. So for example, if like you wanna change the colors of things, again, you go to theme over here, then I would click on explore color themes. And right here, it comes up with a bunch of different color themes that work really well with your sites and colors that all kind of contrast and match each other. So like, so you don't make a big mess of your website. Uh, under settings, again, is where you go to add in something like your name and you wanna change the site title to something else. You wanna add in a custom logo that you have, you can upload it there, favicons over there. And that is it. And so I think it's a very creative and intuitive website builder. So, you know, over here you have different sections. Each section is controlled by this menu bar over there. To add in a new sections is very easy. Just click plus and then you have a bunch of different categories that you can just jump in and add in things that you want. So like a countdown, cover image, event, FAQ. Uh, you know, if I wanted to add in, say, uh, we can come down here and like promotion, for example, and then I can come over here and then, you know, here we go. So set up an email opt-in form, click here to add in your email address. You know, it's just really nice and intuitive. And so I'm really impressed overall with the Bluehost website builder. 
All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is David, WebsiteCreativePro.com. And so I really like Bluehost Website Builder. I think it's a very creative uh, way to build a website and a blog. So if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.